Lydia Ko has done wonders for the profile of women's golf and New Zealand golf is so keen to capitalise on female players that the whole month of November is dedicated specifically to them. And today some of the sport's younger female hopefuls got the chance to see what being a pro in the game is all about. Watching. Questioning. So what's your routine normally before a tournament? And soaking up all they can. Sometimes I go out of bounds and then I get kind of frustrated and stuff. But So I want to learn their mental. Yes, at just 11, Mimi Gull knows golf is more about the mental game than the physical one. And she's not the only one. Well, it is a main part of the golf game, you know. It's 80-20. <laughs> It's not hard to see why some of the pros these girls are caddying for think times have well and truly changed since this they picked one, up yeah. the game. It Let's seems to be getting a lot more professional a lot faster. Like when I was younger, I mean, I didn't start till 13 anyway, which seems late now. Um, and there's a lot more coaching involved, there's a lot more technique. Caitlin Maurice plays off a 15 handicap. When Kiwi pro Catherine Bristow was 13, she played off 47. A certain teenage golfer has helped show anything's possible. She's amazing. She, she's so calm and collected and she just plays the game so beautifully. And while Lydia Ko wasn't at today's annual Anita Boone Pro-Am on Auckland's North Shore, there were plenty of other role models. I think it's, it's, all, it's all a part of it and it's good opportunities. I probably don't think I had that opportunity, so it was great. For many of these girls, golf may offer other opportunities too. Mimi's sister is on a golfing scholarship at Harvard. Caitlin would also like to head to the States, but her more immediate goal is to beat Dad. He's actually going to start practicing now. Yep. Nothing like your 13-year-old daughter to provide a bit of motivation. And of course, Tony Street is one of the ambassadors for the She Loves Golf campaign. I didn't get the call up. I guess they just know that I'm definitely not a Lydia Coe in the making.